Yo, what's up YouTube, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be finally, finally doing my first listen to Golden Child's fifth mini album titled Yes. Yes, finally, I found the time to do this first listen and I'm so ready to do this as I really, really loved Burn It to the point where it only took me a couple more listens for it to become my favorite title track by Golden Child to date, believe it or not. And I really enjoyed the MV to their B-side, Breathe, as well. Breathe was such a well-deserved uh, song to put out an MV for. But aside from that, I'm super excited to do this first listen today. Let's just get into it, shall we? All right, so the first track we have here, of course, is the intro track titled Yes with a Period. Let's go. Pulsing of the heart, the strings here. Oh, hmm, the eight oh eight bass with the strings. Bass guitar. And like police comms going off or something like that, a sampling. We can hear this woodwind instrument in the back. Wow. What an intro song to this fifth mini album. Yes. Um, it really works uh, for the title track, I've got to say, with how sorrowful and emotional it is um being uh very i wouldn't say chaotic and near the start but like it's like it feels very um sorrowful right you know um and and not happy at all of course it, it really sets the tone to this mini album um, with that being said, I love the elements in it uh, quite a bit. Same people behind, uh, of course, who did uh, Burn It, of course, loving the consistency as always when it comes down to intro tracks with title tracks. Uh, the string instruments were nice in this. I heard the woodwind instruments, 808 bass, some samplings I used here and there. Really good intro um, song as always when it comes to Golden Child's uh, intro songs to their uh, albums, of course. But let's just get into the next track, shall we? All right, so this next track is titled Cool Cool. Now, if y'all not familiar with Moss Pick, um, I can mention uh, quite a bit of artists that Moss Pick has worked with, such as Got7. One stray kids, the list goes on, but I do know that um, Jang Jun and uh, Tag continues to write their own lyrics and lines, so we love to see that. Let's just get into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. oh. the bass guitar was sung in here, though. Oh, why? Changing. Ooh, the horns here. Love the horns here. Mm. 
Very groovy, right? But I love how they're delivering their lines in such a cool manner. Just a bit of swagger. How Jengjun and Tae worked off each other, went back in together, and then into Y. They're so good. Slightest switch up there from Jengjun into Jaehyun, right? Okay, so that was cool, cool. I really find this song fascinating, and it's just due to the way that they're delivering their lines in such a cool, swagger uh, manner. And I wouldn't say uh, that is the case of them just saying cool, cool in the chorus. It's more so pre-chorus post-chorus everywhere else that makes it real cool makes golden child all the members so cool i mean they're always cool but for this oh i love the presence that they're given throughout uh the the the, the singers right the vocalists main vocalists blah, blah 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 the list goes on of course you know how their presence is uh, with their vocals and then especially jing jung's presence though with tag was so so good uh, that has to be one of the huge highlights. Jung Jun and Tag working off of each other, bringing it back together. But into Y, though. Ooh! Y really popped off in this particular song. I even really loved uh, Sungmin's parts in this song, I'd have to say, too. Such a groovy song. Very memorable. Um, not due to the chorus, but like I said, due to how they deliver their lines and the rest of the parts in this song. And I can understand why. They uh, performed it on their channel here, assuming that they uh, did a choreo to, uh, to with it as well. Um, very well deserved a uh, song that uh, they have showcased, of course. But let's just get into the next B side now, shall we? All right. So this next song is titled "Round and Round." Now, of course, One Take and Talk were all over this song. If y'all not familiar with the two, um, you should be familiar with now. Uh, if you have been following Willem Artis, um, they have worked with Infinite in the past quite a bit, Golden Child in the past, and also Lovelies as well and such but let's just get into it oh what an interesting start A lot of electronic elements implemented in this song so far. Chan. Wow. 
Where's this headed though? Oh! Wow! Just how they're delivering their lines and what I'm hearing in the instrumental really reminds me of the early year gen type of songs but with a modern twist but Jeng Jeng here though Mm. The, uh, the slightest pause there adds so much. Just how they drag their lines. And hold their notes, it's just gonna be reminiscing a lot right now. And the chorus is just so good. Instrumental break. Bit of the drum kit work in here. The keyboard. the tempo in the song as well. Little vocal effects here and there. Great work as always from one one uh take and talk. I I I, I they always know how to hit it when using electronic uh a uh, elements in the songs that they really um, produce and arrange and such I'd have to say a lot a lot uh, is going on in this song but I love how you can feel and sense the presence and the motion that they're conveying and that yearning that uh, you that they're really conveying throughout the lyrics in round and round by all the members I think Again, uh, the rap is it's it's always on point, but the vocals. Whoo! I I think the, the the vocals are the main highlight in this particular um, B side. But there's a lot of reminiscing going on for me. A lot of nostalgia. Really reminds me going all the way back to like 2012, 2013 type of uh, K-pop, but with a modern twist. Like I said, just how they drag their lines. And, and such and some electronic elements that I've heard in the past back in the 2013 2014 2012 days you know what I'm saying but with modern elements really love Sungmin again um, for this one really loved wise parts again I really love Dong Hyun's uh, vocals in this one I'd have to say but wow it really it really has that sort of second gen ish feel to it but uh em heavily emphasis on ish because it, it it has it has those modern elements to it and modern twist to it that m makes it uh not exactly be full on second gen but go like in between second gen and what we hear uh, these days so so good i hope to see them perform this in the future if they have not yet on a live stage or, or something like that but 
let's just get into the next b-side now so this next song is titled milky way now i'm not familiar with any of the people behind the scenes for this particular song but i'll make sure to get familiar if this song ends up being good so let's go oh Ooh. Hearing that guitar in the back though Ooh, now with the clapping in the back Oh. Whoa. Wow. Yes. Just how they bring it together. Wow. Woo. Wow, the electric guitar. Jang Jung. And how Tag does more of a light delivery in this one. Chan. And just the movement of the singular string into this. Wow, Joe. Just so rememberable. The pre chorus is just so good into. Them simply saying Milky Way is like to the break, it's just everything. Oh, I like how they played us there. I was expecting like pop ballad something like that or even a ballad but seeing how this was done they really went with like sort of i would even say a rock ballad route with this one i am absolutely amazed about how this song was done how this the pre-chorus is such a huge highlight in the chorus. Lots of nostalgia in this one as as well. And I think how one member comes out and then they bring it back together. One member comes out, they bring it back together. And then all leads up to that drop of the chorus and the instrumental. And then ooh, you start hearing the electric guitar, the all out jam jamming and everything with the drums and all and and, and but before that in the pre-chorus we heard that analog bass synthesizer going back and forth in the back it was just so so good 
absolutely so so good and the lyrics are meaningful as well which I really admire that the the lyrics are meaningful as well. Jen Jung and and Tag really popped off as well. I love how Jen Jung had had more of a, a, a more of an aggressive approach than um Tag did. He had did, did more of a lighter approach. But I want to get back to the part that oh got me going crazy, like right here. <laughs> Like Jay him. Ouch you. Watch you. Right here. Let's just keep keep it playing. Cause it's just that good. Milky Way. Wow. Just the presence that Golden Child has. I've been saying this um, throughout this first listen. I mean, I always say it through a majority of my uh, first listens of how Golden Child just has such an interesting dynamic of how they work off of each other but also how, what kind of presence they have and they just have that ability to really evoke emotion in their songs and really connect with us listeners and uh, fans of course so so good milky way has to be my favorite b-side on this mini album y'all in case y'all didn't know already i'm a sucker for these types of songs um but songs that are either ballads pop ballads um rock ba uh, rock ballads and such but only if they have a one of a kind um twist to it there's unexpected moments and such like that that stray away from the typical like ballad and such you know what i'm saying so this was such a a, a beautiful rock ballad by golden child themselves I'll go into, of course, the the final song, even though I've listened to it, which is Breathe and Such, and I'll wrap things up because I want to really capture the mood and feel feeling um, throughout this entire first lesson. So let's just do that now. All right, last but not least, Breathe, a absolutely phenomenal song by Golden Child. I've been uh, listening to it throughout my playlist, so let's just get into it. Just how it starts too. Just the energy. And the, so funky with the bass guitar. Love the percussion instruments in this too, by the way. The piano chords too. Ticking of the hi-hat. Breathe. I wanna breathe. Love the story behind the MV too that we first saw when the MV came out together. Ding Jun always kills his rap verses. Different flow this time with Tag. Mm -hmm. 
Bum 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 bum. Wanna breathe? I wanna breathe. I wanna breathe. This part though. Bum 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 bum. I wanna breathe. Just how they sing from their hearts too is everything. Oh oh oh. Yeah yeah. And that's how you end a mini album, okay? If it was the title track, would have um uh not have uh, done it, but I had to listen it to really capture an entire mood from the intro track to the final kicker, the final B side, a banger and a half, a way to really, really finish off this first listen for this fifth mini album titled Yes. So let me wrap things up, okay? First things first, we got yes, really great intro track to burn it and mood um setter when it comes to this mini album. I'd have to say, then we got into cool cool. I love how we can hear the swagger and how cool they are, and in the most fascinating fashion, not in the chorus, more so every other part in the song, right? A uh, cool cool. I can see why they performed it. Can't wait to uh, watch them uh, do the choreo, assuming they did choreo to it and such on their channel um, on my own time and and such. Uh, Moss Pick really did a good job uh, with the, the song with them. And then, of course, we have Round and Round. Woo! One take and talk again. Got me reminiscent of second gen songs. Um, really throwback, but had its modern twist to it, I'd have to say, with electronica elements, very technical uh, with it. Then we had Milky Way. Milky Way, oh, such a breathtaking song that is so meaningful and how they come through with it. Oh, such a good song. Um, it's one of my favorite types of ballads coming from Golden Child themselves. Not your typical ballad at all. A rock ballad. Um, probably not like the best, best one that I've heard from Golden Child, but it's definitely up there, I'd have to say. Then we ended off with Breathe. Oh, just ending off with a bang. And I feel like that's always the case. Correct me if I'm wrong, but throughout... The first listens that I've done to Golden Child. These mini albums so far, there's the final B side is always the one that really ends the mini album off with a bang, right? And Breathe is just that, just that song, you know what I'm saying? Really, really funky, groovy, um, and really uh, energetic and, and such with the bass guitar. Uh, hearing the ticking of the hi hats and such, and such a rememberable song and well worth uh, the envy that's tied along to it. But, but y'all, let me know, let me know how you felt about this first listen, how you felt about their fifth mini album. Yes, I can see myself listening good amount of these uh, songs on my own time, more so uh, Milky Way the most with Burn It and Breathe. But really, I think a Cool Cool and Round and Round has a special place in my heart uh, to listen to here and there. Um, it's a good follow-up to their previous mini album, I'd have to say their fourth mini album. Not my utmost favorite a mini album from gold golden child to date but burn it is my favorite title track from uh, golden child uh to date uh for sure and how they really come through and evoke emotion and come through with the, the chorus 
and uh, burn it, of course. But y'all, as always, be sure to like, share, and maybe subscribe as it helps with the channel so, so much. And it, I just love connecting with y'all about uh, Golden Child in the comment section down below about Willem artists, about K-pop in general. And have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon wherever you are. As always, be sure to educate yourselves on what is truly saddening, what's going on in the world right now. If you have not yet, be sure to. And promise me this, please stay safe as it's crazy out there during these challenging times. Please do so. And peace.